I'd like to give you a brief introduction uh, to the stereo mission. The top of the rocket. One thing is we're going to be providing some really what I call cool science um, out of this mission. We're going to see a star, an astrophysical object, in three dimension with great resolution for the very first time. What we're measuring are the invisible aspects of the CMEs, the coronal mass ejections. CMEs are considered to be the most violent explosions in our solar system. It expels about a thousand super tankers worth of mass. Now when that hits the Earth, that packs a wallop like that. The devastation is that it can cause havoc with our communication navigation system, with the power grids, uh, with satellite communications. So with the stereo spacecrafts, we're going to improve space weather prediction by a factor two. We're taking the next step to see it in three dimension, to really fully comprehend what this object is all about. We're going to be able to see these CMEs because we're using two spacecraft this time. They're about the size of a golf cart. There are many different kinds of instruments. We have combined um, 16 instruments on each spacecraft that are going to be sampling plasma. So we're taking a direct sample of the sun, but simply removed by several million miles away. One of the things we want to do with stereo is to actually watch this blob from the moment it leaves the sun all the way till it gets to Earth's orbit. But to view that in 3D, you know, I, I really can't quite envision myself. I get emotional if I think about it. So I think it's humankind's destiny to move out and beyond, conquer, understand.